The body is more like a plant than a machine. And we're just beginning to understand it because now we have the imaging equipment to look at fascia, to look at this connective tissue. This is how our body works. <laughs> our body's connected with soft tissue. Very few times do you come across something where you go, whoa. And it just kind of, it, it just gives you this whole change of, of thought process. The muscle plays a role, but not nearly the amount that we thought. The fascia creates this hydraulic system around the muscles and facilitates co-contraction, which is huge for force production. The fascia tissue actually is trainable. So often as strength coaches, we, we worry about speed, strength, and power, and the ability to change direction, and a whole host of things, and, and we think it lies at the skeletal muscle level, or at the CNS level, when um, there's a whole other system out there that we can, we can train. It is a body-wide sensory organ that has five times the proprioception than muscle. We have this connective tissue this elasticity, we have this, we have this system, we have this ability that kangaroos and cheetahs, we have it. When you talked about classifying an athlete muscular or connective, you know, and that's, that's something that we've all seen, we, we kind of all know, but to, to really start sniffing that and, and say, man, there, there's, there's a possible paradigm shift there. We've been looking at the big three for the last 30 years. The muscular system, nervous system, cardiovascular. But we got the big four now from a training perspective. This is the new science of speed, power, and injury resiliency.